this is kind of difficult for me to admit, but I was one of those dads that videotaped too much. I've been going through digitizing all the home videos and they're awesome. I mean, they're awesome, but it's just too much. So sometimes when I go out with my wife and daughter, you know, I, I don't videotape that much because I have this history. Hey, good morning. It's Pete with Chill Dude Videos. Emma Rowdy and I left the cabin yesterday. We made it to Teddy Roosevelt National Park, had a nice short hike down to the floor of the Painted Canyon and then uh, continued a little bit further west just, just outside of the park and got this totally cool little campground. It's beautiful. And a nice night's sleep. I'm in the tent and was and rowdy, not sure what that means, or is in the beagle. He's abandoned me. And today, another six hours or so, we're headed for the Pryor Mountains Wild Horse Refuge. Oh, Grant told us this and we forgot that the this kind of famous biking trail. Mata Air. Okay, we're butchering the pronunciation of the famous biking trail. So it was the Matahe bike trail got onto it just off the Buffalo Gap campground in the national grasslands just west of Teddy Roosevelt National Park. And so hey we're gonna alter plants and jump on that for just like I don't know a couple miles and uh yeah no Rowdy doesn't get to go. <laughs> So there's the Buffalo Gap campground. It's you know it's, it is next to the interstate, but it's clean. The showers are great. Gosh, it was only six bucks a night. waiting for Emma and some fruit from the food store in Bridger, Wyoming, our jump off point for Pryor Mountains. We'll see what happens. We've been trying to buy two apples for like, I don't know, 50 miles. Hasn't happened yet. Rowdy's thinking there's, somebody's got brownies in that. All right, here comes my tire repair training <laughs> test, right? So here's a screw in my tire. And my air pressure is going down pretty fast. And so I've got my materials out. I'm gonna get some pliers. I'm gonna pull that screw out. I'm gonna put in this plunger and kind of work it through the belts. And then I'm gonna, but before I, and then before I pull it back out, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a plug on this jobby with some lubricant on it. And I'm gonna then I'm gonna pull the the plunger thing out and put in the plug, and we should be ready to go. Hopefully, because we need, we need to get up to the priors tonight or our schedule will be messed up. Okay, so it actually was harder than I thought it was going to be. The screw ended up being, you know, an inch and a half long and most of it was in the tire. So I started to pull it out and then I had the bright idea of unscrewing it, which was much easier. And then, um, so pulling it out was pretty tough. Augering this in to this tire was was tough, but I muscled through it <laughs> And then I uh, you know did what you're supposed to do. I put some on one of these jobbies on this thingy with some lubricant And I plunged it in there And you can see the tails are still fit, sticking out I'm looking at it now. So it's a good
So Emma's gonna go in and get some uh, soapy water so we can spray on it to see if it's, you know, leaking right there, leaking right now. Feeling pretty good about it. Um, so we're just putting the air in it. Yeah, but we are, I mean, the guy's closed, but we are right next to a service station, actually. Hey, there we go. So these are like 62 PSI or something. All right, I'm a little nervous. I didn't push the plug in far enough. And then I might be pushing out. But if it does, we'll just put another one in. Does that look like that's pushing out? We'll see. We're trying to get up there. It's getting dark. Hey, we made it. We had a good night at the Sage Creek Campground at Pryor Mountain and then continued on up the hill. And now we're at the big ice cave. What are we at? The big ice cave. The big ice cave. <laughs> and it was a big ice cave, which I didn't remember having seen before so it's this big hole on the side of the hill there's a beautiful little boardwalk going down to it I didn't film it because you really couldn't I couldn't show you anything but basically there's just dripping kind of acidic water that melts the limestone and dissolves the rock and makes this big cavern and partially I think it evidently because it's low the cold air can't escape so it just stays the cold air just whenever it gets cold it just stays cold so it has a almost a constant 32 degree temperature year round which is amazing it's actually quite cool down there it's like 32 degrees but the most actually i think the coolest thing about it we thought was um the sound of the drips echoing against the chamber so uh yeah someday maybe i'll come back and record that but it was it was really cool so big ice cave prior mountain is is great and it's also at a really nice picnic area there's even another bathroom up here, which I'm sure is the last one up here. So yeah. All right, more to explore. Okay, not sure why I didn't do this before, but we are airing down because it's really bumpy. Okay, so I aired down the front to 35 and the back to 40. I'm not sure why. It just, it's less than I did before, which wasn't enough. Um, but we are quite remote, so it's a little nerve wracking. So of course I need to be careful turning sharply. And um, of course, and I need to air up before we hit the highway, of course, but it was really bumpy and we were going really slow, so I'm hoping this will help. Bikes are looking a little dusty. Oh, there's Rowdy. Hey, buddy. All right. I'm done. Okay, we've decided it's, it truly is much smoother. We're not going a lot faster, but the whole van's not just vibrating like crazy. But the biggest proof of all is check out Rowdy laying down in the back. Before he, it was so bumpy and so unpleasant that he had to stay, he was always standing up. And then, as soon as we aired down, we're still on this same cobblestone, bumpy cobblestone and he's, and he's sleeping. found some horses in the trees it's so it's midday and it's kind of hot so they're in the shade 
This is Penn's cabin, built in 1925. Emma's going to tell us all about it. So Penn, of Penn's cabin, was born in Shriver, Montana, which is near Sage Creek Campground, which is where we camped last night. What's going on, Rowdy? So Emma and I were up here when she was like eight years old. <laughs> so it was a little while ago. <laughs> and making a film on these on the Prior Mountain horses. So it's nice to be back and it's fun to be back together. Hey, no, 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 no. Come here. Hey. Oh. Isn't that cool? I'm why is it you know what why'd they make it so short? Just cause, huh? Did you sign the logbook? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see it. Where is it? It's right there. But you know what? You can stand up in the middle. So once you're in here, you can stand up. This is Penn's cabin built by Perrin Cummings in like 1925. He was going to homestead it, but he didn't have the 850 required by the patent office to complete that. And then he unfortunately died a couple of years later, back down uh, near where we camped last night at Sage Creek Campground. But cool, nice cabin. <laughs> Beagle's looking pretty good and doing well. Clearance is fine. The down airing was awesome. So we've been enjoying this Cush Comfort ride ever since we did it. I should have done it sooner. Thank gosh we did it while we're still on our way up because it's really been nice. It's not that you go faster, it's just as comfortable and pleasant. You can actually talk. It's not rattling and yada yada. So we'll keep it aired down until we get all the way back down off the mountain. We haven't decided what we're doing today. If we're spending the night up here or headed down. Actually, the air's actually clearing up. There's some smoke issues with all the fires in BC and in California. But it's clear right here, right now, which is nice. Hey, well, it's been a while. It's been a long time since I've been out here. And we used to come up burnt timber, up and down burnt timber road in a Toda 4x4 pickup, small one, with a small camper on it, and it was hairy. And so we were thinking about going, so we were deciding, do we go down Sykes, Burnt Timber, back down Sage or Crooked Creek? And uh, and we've actually been able to talk to a couple people, and so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna avoid both Sykes and Burnt Timber. If I didn't have these steps on here, and when I get the new, more stable suspension and a couple more inches, I might try burnt timber again. Uh, but today we're just going to go down Crooked Creek and play it safe, keep my steps <laughs> for another few months. And uh, so that's the plan. So you got to be careful going up and down prior. If you basically come in Sage Creek and sounds like go back down Crooked Creek. We were just saying, Crooked Creek Road is really gorgeous. Check this out. And we were also enjoying how smooth it is.
break from our marathon, coming back down off the priors. Rowdy really needed a break. <laughs> Eagle's doing a great job. Bike rack's doing a great job. My tire repair is holding. The air down was awesome, so we're about to air back up. But thank goodness we did that. Boy, the last three hours have been horrible. Hadn't done that. All right, that was awesome. Now it's time to air up. Hey, it's been a great trip. We checked out the geysers in Yellowstone. So we're right in the middle of a herd of migrating buffalo in the Hayden Valley. Had a quick little bike trip up to uh, the Natural Bridge, which I didn't even know about in Yellowstone. Then we came down to Tetons, and it's been a whirlwind trip. We hiked up to the Grand View, and uh, I think the highlight was probably swimming in Jackson Lake. And this morning we're here at Oxbow Overlook, checking out uh, sunrise on the Tetons. So it's, it's been great, but we're headed back now. This is Pete with Chill Dude Videos. If you like what's going on, please subscribe or hit that like button. Let us know what you're thinking in the comments, and thanks for watching.